you want me to read some more? No thanks, it sounds far too religious for me. Well, then I'll only read a little while longer, Mary says. John works as a tinker. A tinker mends the holes of pots and pans. John travels with his tinker's wagon, going from village to village. Tinkers were often pretty rough guys. John is no exception. He is notorious for his bad language. She doesn't mind that they are poor, but it bothers her that John shows no interest in God. Sunday afternoon, the whole village gathers to play games. But those sports are different than the ones we have today. One of them is cat clubbing. A barrel dangles from a rope with a cat trapped inside. Men take turns beating the barrel. Whoever splits the barrel, so the scared cat jumps out, wins. Come on, John, it's your turn. One good hit should do it. Wait, uh, I can't. John turns very pale and gazes off into the distance. Come on, what's the matter? Uh, I can't, I quit. John had heard something, but he wasn't sure what it was. Then John hears a voice saying, Are you willing to let go of those bad things and be saved? Or would you rather hold on to them and be, and lost, be lost forever? forever? Is this really God trying to get through to him? From then on, John listens very carefully when Mary reads. He wants to know God, but no matter how hard he tries, he keeps on behaving the same old way. One day, John was at work and overheard some women talking. I used to think that God would never be pleased with me. I never understood it either. But as soon as I heard that preacher explain it, I felt like a new person. John strained to listen. You feel like new. You are a new person, one says. If you believe in Jesus and in everything he has done for you, you really are born again. Born again? That's it, John thinks. God lets you be born again. From then on, you are God's child. God forgives past sins and makes you new inside. Now, finally, John understands. John wants to know all he can about the Bible. Sometimes, he is even asked to preach in small independent churches. About this time, the King of England, Charles II, wants the Church of England to be the only church in his realm. Some resist and form the secret independent churches. John knows he will be in danger if he is caught preaching in their services. November 12, 1660, while John preaches in a barn, the meeting is interrupted. Quiet, people, quiet. This is a forbidden church service. In the name of King Charles II, I order you to leave at once. If we find you again in services like this, you could go to jail. 